Hi, it's Dirk from Sentry. In this video, we're gonna walk through how to create a Sentry project from scratch. So without further ado, let's get started. After you create a Sentry organization, you'll log in and you'll be presented with this project page. A project is just a way to correlate your application, the application you want to monitor with a Sentry object or project. That allows us to capture events. Those could be issues, it could be performance transactions or anything in the future that needs to be correlated with the application that you wanna monitor. Setting up a, a new project is super simple. Just create the project. You'll be taken to this page, which shows our most common applications that we support or SDKs that we support. If you don't see it on this page, don't worry. You can either filter here or just click over to this all tab. It'll show you all of these applications. As it happens, we're gonna be using a React app for this uh, series of videos. So I can just click on React. Don't worry if you don't get this right, not a problem. You can always go change it in the future. Here I could set up default alert settings. So if I already knew that uh, I want to be notified if there are more than five errors within five minutes, let's say, I can go ahead and set that up. And then for this particular project, I'm gonna get notified if I ever see more than five occurrences of an error within five minutes, or if Sentry sees that. We can do the same kind of thing on performance alerts. I'm gonna leave that blank for now or by default. Again, you can always go back and change this in the future. Now I need a project name. So I prefer to name it the platform and then some, some meaningful descriptor. So let's call this React and then Sentry. And since we're gonna be doing some work with GitHub later, I'll just designate this as GitHub. Since this is a brand new organization, we don't have any teams yet. Uh, we need a team uh, to correlate this project to. You can see it won't let us create the project without a team. A team is exactly what it sounds like, just comprised of team members who will be working on this project and or need access to this project. When I click this, it gives us some suggestions. I'm gonna call this React front end and then click create team. And then once I've done that, I can create the project. This takes us to a page that provides some boilerplate code that you can copy and paste and drop into your React app. You'll probably see some familiar things here. My guess is you've already, you already have React, you're already importing React. You need to import the Sentry packages up here right underneath React. And then this is just your app component that gets pulled in. And then we initialize the Sentry client using what we call a DSN. This is just the unique identifier that ties your application to this project that we're setting up in Sentry and allows you to visualize and triage any kind of errors or performance issues that you might be seeing. If I scroll down, we give you a couple of convenience buttons that take you to issues or performance. Since we haven't actually wired this up to our backend, we're not gonna see any issues or any performance transactions yet. These also happen to correlate to this issues tab and this performance tab in the sidebar. If I go back to projects now, we can see that we have a React Sentry GitHub project, and that project is essentially blank and waiting on events. So in the next videos, we're gonna wire this up to our backend and then do some other neat stuff with some of our third-party integrations. Stay tuned, thanks.